A lot to talk about tonight. Hi, I'm meteorologist Dave Hovde. I hope you're inside. I hope you're warm and I hope you heed some of the advisories and warnings we've been talking about. I know snow is excited to go and see, but don't go driving into an area with some kind of a warning or advisory and definitely stay tuned here to KSBY because travel could get tricky overnight and early tomorrow with some low level snows could be interesting around the area. This is this earlier today out at the Cambria camera from 805 webcams? That's absolutely stunning view there. So yes, surf is going to be an advisory we didn't mention earlier in the show. 8 to 12 feet, 10 to 14 right now, but 8 to 12 feet on Thursday. Dangerous rip until 3 a.m. on Friday and in the channels 4 to 7 feet with that dangerous rip as well into 3 a.m. on Thursday. Now right now the interior is already dropping off into the 30s and now you can see some of our concerns for low level snows tonight. These are cool conditions to have in the 5 o'clock hour. We've got northwesterly breeze is right now 15 to 20 plus miles per hour with some of the gusts have been up past 30 but at least those are relaxing a little bit we talked about how much trouble that has already caused but look at this huge swath affected by this large trough in the upper atmosphere it's a mess in minnesota and south dakota colorado everywhere essentially in the western half of the country but right here we are looking at showers isolated thunderstorms and we've seen hail today and low elevation snows including and Hearst Castle. You can check that out on Facebook. Some pretty interesting stuff. You can see the showers here, these little pockets of yellow. Those are areas where we get either brief, heavier rainfall. Now, again, the overall coverage has been pretty limited, and we have seen snow in the Santa Barbara County Mountains. In fact, you can see it if you go there and just look up yourself. We'll see a lot more tomorrow morning as the activity will get more intense overnight, and with the snow levels dropping all the way down to 2,000 feet, and possibly as low as 1,000 feet, and then you can see how the activity Thursday just continues but starts picking up later Thursday into Friday and this is where I think our attention needs to be drawn. What happens over the course of Friday? It's rainfall, locally heavy rainfall, more so in Santa Barbara County but San Luis Obispo County gets hit hard too. Upper elevation snows, big winds and the rainfall rates could be a concern for recent burn areas as well. It's all this activity that's just going to continue to rotate through this trough in the upper atmosphere. So our forecast for rain is anywhere from one to three inches across the area, but it's one to five or even six inches of rain in the Santa Barbara County Mountains. So we have thunderstorm potential today, tomorrow and Friday, possibly even into early Saturday. This is a look at the low elevation snows, one to six inches. So that includes the North Coast Hills, the Cuesta grade could see some, the La Panza Wilderness in here, the Tembler Range going to see quite a bit. Again, the further up you go, the more snow you get. And grapevine travel could be a real mess here in the extended forecast because we're talking about feet of snow above 3,500 feet. And you get above 6,000 feet, it's two to five plus feet of snow. So definitely make sure you get the forecast before you head out. And here you go, extended forecast Monday, Tuesday, more rainfall on the way. Not as strong as this system, but around the 5th, 6th, we could see some rain and around the 10th and 11th, we could see some rain. 11th is my birthday. Come on, weather. Let's go. Here's the extended forecast. Look how much activity and look at the low temperatures across the entire board here. We are going to be cold for an extended period of time. Take the KSBY microclimate weather forecast with you. Download the free app today.